you smiling at? Today we're gonna be installing uh, front and rear only suspension on the Hawks bike. We've got the, uh, well, those are the springs from the front. Okay. So we're doing FKS 228 cartridge kits, colons with the springs. We got the HD 044 reservoir shocks for the Nice. Oh, you want the piggybacks, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're going to be using this uh, new tool for the first time. Uh, this is from Rack and Pull Industries. This is called the equalizer. So what this does is measures the back of your bike. Most of these Harleys are pretty much coming out of the factory with the back tire either tilted this way or this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that link that's on the top of the motor, with that, that is what's causing the issue. So, we're gonna be switching that one out. Yeah, so Rack and Pull Industries uh, and other companies do have this adjustable link for the top. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jack the bike up in the air, we're gonna pull the rear suspension off, or just the bottom bolt, and then we are going to measure and see how far off he is. If he's off, we're gonna install this, what they call the missing link, and we're gonna be able to then turn the motor and put it into position. Nice. So that we're running and tracking straight down the road. Nice. So, and then just to clarify, it is, could that be part of the issue that's making or giving people that little crazy bump when you're going on those so corners? If people, yeah, if you're going around a turn and people start to feel the, the back end of the bike kind of dance and move around, a lot of those issues are caused by misalignment. Okay. Okay. Because gotcha. people right away think that they want to change out the swing arm and they think that's part of it. I mean, that's or, also part of it. Or they're pulling the... They're pulling the bushings out and they're doing solid bushings by like A1 or another company like that. Or they're sticking um, additional, uh, there's some additional rubber pieces that you can put inside the bushing. Okay. So those pieces, they're trying to stop the wobble or uh, they're putting track systems that hang off the starter and go across the transmission. Right. So there's a lot of things and, and most of the time, it's just that these uh, suspensions are, are the, well, the whole bike, I'm sorry, the swing arm is misaligned from the, from the factory. Well, there's one more thing that you forgot to mention that you, don't, that you get with this whole system that- Stickers? It's very important. Stickers. Very expensive stickers. <laughs> that is clean right there. The original gold, baby. Yeah, and now, they didn't before, but they do now. Now they come with the- Brackets? The brackets that hang off the back and hold the reservoirs in place. Nice. All right, let's get to it then. So we're, we're, what Rack and Pull Industries uh, suggests is that we're able, we get the back wheel off the ground just enough to fit a piece of cardboard in there so that the wheel can slide on the cardboard rather than being stuck on the left. They want, all right, so we're gonna disconnect just the rear, the bottom of the shock. Okay. You're gonna take the piece that they include here and the stock bolt. Install it back into the swing arm, and not real tight. Just gonna, just gonna look at it so that, no. so that it seats. Okay. I'm gonna go and repeat the same procedure on the other side. You're going to put that over onto the shock bolts like this. Okay. okay. Once it's on the shock bolt, we're lock it in place. This is our measurement for the left side, and now you can see that I can't get this to go on. Okay, so it's way off. So what, what this is telling me is his back tire and his engine is this way. That explains a lot. It's here, does not fit here. So we're gonna install the missing link now. This is the adjustable uh, engine mount that takes the place of the stock solid one here that Harley-Davidson installs from the factory. So here's missing link, here's the stock link from Harley. So we're going to install this now up on the bike and then we'll start the adjustment. Before we do that, I'm going to just clean the bolts off. 
get all the Loctite off from the factory so that we can re-Loctite those bolts. Missing link comes with um, four washers, so you're going to throw two washers on each. These missing links come in uh, black, gold, and chrome. I believe this is the, the gold version. So, uh, question. Are, are you basically recommending this to anyone who's going to be doing their suspension? Anybody who's is that, what, is that what we're doing all, all together today? Yeah, so anyone who is doing their suspension, we're going to recommend a suspension alignment to. But in addition, if anybody's having any kind of rideability problems, um, where the ass end is moving out on the bike or you know any kind of wobbles or anything then we're also going to uh, recommend a, a suspension alignment so put that one at the bottom ready yep. start, start moving the motor it's getting closer uh, i'm still there that's just your second there we go okay look at that now we're taking it on the other side to see if it matches up or what yep so this side is on, you go ahead on this side and this one goes <clears throat> right back on it as well. There's some adjustment that you're gonna have to do going back and forth, um, just resetting it. Um, it's just a bunch of just adjustment. Yeah, right? so as you start to draw one side down, the other side is naturally gonna lift up a little bit because the swing arm is gonna do this. So you need to keep readjusting this top nut and equalize the two sides so now we're equalized the tire straight hence the equalizer hence the equalizer the equalizer all right so we're going to start the mounting process of the oleans for the rears and then you can say you got to put yeah all the so brackets this on the first. actually has to go on first because of the way that this bracket is designed um you won't be able to get the screws in oh uh, gotcha okay all right, so suspension comes with sleeves, spacers, so the sleeve goes inside here. Stock bolt, remove all the washer, stock bolt goes in, and the spacer on the inside against the bike. Same thing for the bottom or no? Same thing for the bottom. Just gonna run them in. Torque specs? Torque specs on these bolts are 65 to 70 foot pounds. This is only a problem with STs. What's the, what's the issue? So, on the specials and the standards, there is a piece of, uh, there's a spacer in here, like a washer. And for some reason, a lot of the STs have not shipped with it. Olin's gives you these two spacers. <laughs> so. Oleans gives you short and long, mm -hmm. okay? Short spacer goes here, kicks it out. Where the stock bolt just came out of. Right. The long spacer is supposed to, see how far it's sticking out? Yeah. The long spacer is supposed to do the same, but on the ST models, Harley hasn't been putting in the correct spacer. So see how it's, that gotcha. one's out and that one's in. So I called Oleans about this and they their only solution right now is they'll ship you extra spacers extra small spacers so they want you to double it up so that takes up the space of the missing harley piece that's not in there so short spacer bolt in here it's gonna get started and that should give us it still pulls it in a little bit but it's a it would have been in even more so now we just have to set the preload the rebound and the sag the sag we're gonna have to do after one right. because we have to put the rider on so to set the preload i'm going to turn this all the way to the right it's always to the right until it stops okay 15 clicks out And then the same thing with this one. All the way in. So now if the rider wants a stiffer ride, then they're gonna turn it back in. They want a softer ride, they're gonna turn it out. 
but that's your starting point. Okay. Okay. So that's the same repetition, same thing we're going to be doing for the other side as well. So this is the rear. We're not going to go ahead and show you how to do the other rear because it's the same thing. We're just going to go ahead half to the front right now, show you guys how to install the front suspension. Okay, so we got the front suspension out of the bike. We're going to be putting in the uh, FKS 228s and, and the springs. So we're just going to go through the installation process. You know, first thing we do is... We're and you have what? You have this thing in the vise right now? I have it in a fork vise right now. This is my least favorite part of the job. And then we got a pan in the bottom to catch all the fluid? Yeah, I'll have that. Yes. And then what I'm going to attempt to do here is take this towel wrap it down and hold some pressure downward so the spring doesn't take me out. That was close. Not bad. Okay, this is the stock spring. This is not a reuse, right? Not reusing it. I'm not reusing the washer or this. So what's the only thing you're gonna reuse? So inside is a top out spring we're gonna reuse and there's a hydraulic oil cup that sits at the bottom. So now in the bottom of the uh, fork there is a bolt down here. It's gotta come out 12 millimeter. piece will fall out. The only thing you're going to retain is the top out spring right now. This uh, retaining clip mm -hmm. holds the seal in and things like that. So now... Are we replacing that yeah, clip? Yeah, we're going to replace everything in here because okay. the bike's got 3,500 miles on it. So if you just... copper washer sometimes they get stuck down in there it's a sealing washer for the bottom bolt make sure it's out before you put your 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 new kit in because if you have two washers in place then it could leak the Olean's kit is different one is a compression side and one is a rebound side so the compression side has the bleed holes at the top and the rebound side has them at the bottom but they're also marked on the caps so this one says COMP, and this one says REV. For rebound. Okay. Right. So, so which one goes on one side? The compression goes on the left. Okay. Okay. The clutch side. Good to know. I know that. I thought they were both the same. Some of the brands are like. So, uh, some brands are the same. Does it matter? Yeah, like Legends are the same. Uh, I'm not sure about Welbers, um, but Olin's are definitely. All right. So we're gonna start the reassembly process. We've got a kit here from Harley. Uh, 49 millimeter uh, seal kit. Just cleaning this off, make sure this is clean. And we'll take some of this off of here, make sure this is clean. So, stock early parts going back on. Oil cup. Our latest, keep this completely uh, compressed. If we separate this and then flip it over, that oil cup's gonna fall out. Got uh -huh. the wrong spot, so we're just going to hold it like that, turn it over, get the retainer, got the washer, and we've got the seal. We're going to grease up the seal a little bit, just to make it go on a little better. A little grease in there, spring side down. We're going to get the uh, 49 millimeter seal driver tool. So you know where you're done? So there's a groove inside where this retaining ring goes. Mm -hmm. As soon as you expose the groove, and you, you can actually, I don't know if we can hear it now, but sound changes. It goes from a hollow sound to a more solid sound. What's this? This is the retaining ring. So if we put, if I push this down and it snaps into place, then I know my seal's down far enough. Oh, perfect. You're gonna put the top out spring in. 
stock top out spring. Okay. Then you're going to take the cartridge and drop that in. Okay. And we're going to lay this down. We're going to take our new bolt and washer. We're going to put some Loctite on. Drive this in. Our 12 millimeter. Now this whole thing's going to want to rotate, so usually I take one of these nifty pry bars. Ready? Okay. Now we're going to add our fluid. So. Right, right? Yeah. So if you want to hold this, what what I normally do with the fluid is I'll fill it so that it's like roughly two to three inches from the top. Okay. So I'll hold this? Yeah, if you want to hold that, I'll fill it. Okay. And that, that fluid comes in the kit as well, right? Well, you order or, it. Or you, okay. You got to order it separate. from them, yeah. All right, so this is a, a, this is a fork oil level tool. So Olean's wants your fork oil to be 140 millimeters from the top. Okay. Okay, so we filled it. We're gonna put some more in. So we're gonna fill it like two to three inches from the top. Okay, so what this tool does is, I'm gonna stick this down in here. Right, it's gonna stick down in here. This is where the level of oil, of oil should be. So when I pull on this syringe, it's going to start sucking the oil down until it gets to this point and then it can't suck oil anymore. So that sets the level for you. For so the right, for basically the right you, you just, you're taking out the excessive oil. Right. In a way. Okay. Right. I can feel it now. It's actually getting smoother the whole way down. When I first started, it collapsed halfway before there was any fluid. Now it goes down nice and smooth. Oh. So we're getting all the air out. What are you, what are you smiling at? <laughs> That's it. No more fluid coming out. So we're at 140 millimeters. Next thing we're going to do is we are, these are two special tools that they, uh, that you either have to buy when you do the installation. You can just buy them once. They're pretty inexpensive. So this first tool is a pull-up tool, which threads onto here. Mm. We can now take our spring. There's two sides to the spring. Blank side. See the writing? The writing goes up. Writing goes, writing goes up. Writing goes up. Little factory nut all the way down. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the back of the manual here, there's all your setup data for these, uh, uh, for the springs. You're going to install this cup and they give you two uh, different preload tubes. So if you look on here, it's Harley with fairing. You're going to use the guide ring and the 12 millimeter preload tube. So, if you measure them, this one's 20 millimeters, 12 millimeters. So the shorter one, you get rid of that. The shorter one is what you're going to use on these bikes. It only goes in one way. If it goes in this side, obviously it doesn't fit. If it goes in this side, it kind of gotcha. Oh, it's not right in. In. Yeah. Okay. Now here's where you need the second special tool. So this tool now goes in between the spring and that nut, okay? That keeps that in place now gotcha. so that we can reinstall the cap. I'm going to thread this cap all the way down. It's going to start drawing the rod up okay. until it hits that lock nut like that right there. And you're going to grab yourself a 13 millimeter wrench pockets that have plastic on the inside. 
there really is no torque spec on these. They just, uh, they kind of just say to, to snug it up. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're taking that out. Okay. We're going to take it out. Okay, so we're snug now. Take it out? Yep. Okay. That's it. So now we're going to... New O-ring comes in the kit. In the uh, Olin's kit. You know, I've said like Olin's and Olin's like 10 different times in different ways in this video today. How do you like to say it? Olin? Olin's. What? Did you say Olin's? <laughs> Olin's. Olin's. Grease. A little grease on that O-ring and a little bit of grease on the threads, very fine. They're really fine threads, you don't want to cross them or anything. Okay. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull the fork tube up and rotate at the same time. Jeez. We're going to try this again. What about the towel here? I think we need a pair of strong hands here. So, yeah, so if somebody can pull, you're going to pull the tube up pull it. and then I'll push down and try to rotate this cap into place. Do you usually need three handsome men to do this or? No. Not needed. There's also effect. Okay. Usually if you're not working this high up, then it's, it's easier. It's pretty easy. Uh, the last thing we're going to do here, we're going to set the preload and the rebounds. Okay, so set up data in the back of the sheet here. Um, rider weight. Uh, rider, how much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? 242. <laughs> okay, so this is in kilograms, so you're gonna have to convert it. So his 240, two whatever, uh, will convert it to what? 109. 109. So your closest one on here is 110. So anything 110 or over, it's gonna be the same setup. So your preload turns, according to here, is going to be 15 turns. So it's 15 rotations. So once the cap stops spinning, watch your hand. Oh. Well, now we're now we're turning. You might have to hold the bottom for me. Now we're going to turn preload. So I'm going to start here, one rotation around. Full rotation. Is a, yeah. So we're going to go 15 of them. So we got one, one two. two. Three and 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, which is pretty much maxed out. Okay. Okay. So that is for setting up the preload. Now we're going to set the rebound. So we're going to turn it. We're going to turn it all the way in until it stops. That's for the rebound. This is for the rebound. Now we're going to count. This goes out 12 clicks. 12 clicks. According to the chart. Okay. That's where we're going to start. So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> that is your, the only thing we gotta do is now repeat on the other side and uh, it's good to go. Slide this back into the bike. There's a little bevel on the top of the fork. So usually we get them so that the clamping surface uh, is clamping on the bevel. So, right around there. I send the axle through. Uh, it's not going to work right now because this is was a different setup, but I send the axle through. See, the axle is a little crooked. Mm -hmm. So, if I want to, if I want to get, get it straight. You level them out that way? I level, yeah, I level them out this way. Okay. There. Nice. So now you have nice, it should slide in and out freely. Well, there you have it. That's going to be it. That's for your front and rear Olin suspension install, as well as the alignment for, right. what was the tool? Or the That's uh, the equalizer. Equalizer. Rack and pull industries. All right. So the next thing is going to be, once the bike is 100% on the road, the rider is going to take it out. He's going to let us know exactly how it feels um, and if that alignment really does do justice. And then hopefully we can take it out for a spin and I can give you guys my impression on it. Um, as you guys know, I am still in the market shopping for new suspension. So is Mike. Well, you're, you're getting yours in soon. I'm, I'm going to get mine soon. Yeah. Um, so that, that video is going to come out pretty soon as well. 
Um, but yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool install. Nice upgrade for anyone who's trying to build a performance bagger. Suspension of Harleys suck. I mean, we, we all know that. Um, and there, there's a few uh, few companies out there that make really good products. Obviously, Olin's being top of the top. Um, the gold canisters in the back look amazing. Um, and yeah, I just I, I, I can't wait to see how this thing just feels. Um, thanks. If you guys are in the local area, you want to get some jobs done like this to your bike, all over Jersey, New York, stop by Torque Custom Cycle Shop. Hit up Mike. All the descriptions gonna be linked down below. And if you guys have any other questions, you can either call him, his number's down below, or comment down. Anything else? No, that's it. And um, we're actually, we're gonna offer the suspension alignment uh, from now moving forward. If they do a full suspension? Either way, or? either, or we can do troubleshooting. So if you got a bike coming in, it's got a wobble, you don't think it's lined up properly, bring it in. We'll set up the equalizer on it and, and uh, see where we're at. Well, there you go. For you guys with the little wobble, man, Bring the bike in over here. That's gonna be it. Like always, let the force with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.